I'm Dr. Chris Steele. I'm a GP and resident doctor on ITV's This Morning programme. Now I'm going to tell you today about low-dose naltrexone or LDN. Naltrexone is a prescription medicine which in 1986 was found to be effective in low doses at controlling many disabling and fatal diseases. Diseases such as uh, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, multiple sclerosis, fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, HIV AIDS, fertility problems needing IVF, several cancers and many more besides. Now LDN it's not a cure or a miracle drug but it's a therapy that helps the body in restoring its own immune system by boosting endorphins which restore the immune and repair systems, manage pain and actually make the patient feel good. Our endorphin levels get depleted as we age and this is at the root of so many diseases. LDN is also not expensive. It's cheap, unlike current drugs prescribed for these conditions. Now LDN would save the NHS billions of pounds from its drug budget which could then be spent on new hospitals, doctors, nurses, equipment and help the NHS to survive and thrive. LDN has been used effectively by 100,000 people worldwide and has been the subject of several small-scale clinical trials. However, a large-scale trial of LDN is needed for this treatment to be licensed. This lack of a license prevents many GPs from having the confidence to prescribe it. Now, LDN is known to be a safe drug. Naltrexone is routinely used at high doses to treat addictions to heroin or alcohol, and it's actually even used in pregnant women with no risk to the baby. I, like all doctors, was taught to first do no harm. LDN does no harm, so it should be used first when it's been shown to be effective for so many medical conditions. A clinical trial is the first step in getting a drug available on the NHS, but this costs many millions of pounds and takes several years to complete. Because naltrexone, low-dose naltrexone, is a cheap and out-of-patent drug, there's no financial incentive for pharmaceutical companies to fund such trials. So, when we need the government to, to fund the trials. The expense would be recovered in savings to the NHS many times over once the drug is in use. In fact, whatever route is appropriate for making LDN available in the NHS, we need the government to become involved in this issue to solve the problem of generic drugs becoming stranded in a, a limbo where they will help no one. The Government Department of Health's NIHR Health Technology Assessment Programme is set up for this purpose, but has so far failed to respond to the evidence surrounding LDN. Therefore, without some kind of political intervention, we will never see this drug on the NHS. Therefore, we need your help in this matter to overcome the apathy which is standing in the way. A small group of individuals calling themselves LDN Now is committed to this cause. Jane Crocker and Andrew Barnett of LDN Now have created a petition to 10 Downing Street to urge the government to trial this drug LDN and I strongly support this petition. In addition to this petition, LDN Now will be organising many events to spread the word and if you'd like to help, visit the website ldnnow.com for further details. Thanks for watching. Please get involved and help this cause become a reality. So I'd like you to go to ldnnow.com, that's l-d-n-n-o-w dot com, 
Thank you, goodbye, and good health.